Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly Challenger Builders guide video for the week of July 5th. Uh, we are already in July, summer's going by really quickly. Um, first of all, I want to apologize. I meant to put up some Dark Souls gameplay as well as my Hanzo guide video for Overwatch last week. Uh, but I got sick and I was just like not in the mood to do any editing at all. And uh, so I, I pretty much slacked off is what I'm trying to say. So um, I'll try and have those videos out this week, um, if not early next week. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm, I've been really busy in addition to not feeling that well. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I did want to get this video out to you like I usually do every Tuesday slash Wednesday. Uh, so, without further ado, right, let's get into the modifiers. Uh, Berserk, minions of the darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. Small arms, primary weapon damage is favored. And precision kill bonus, precision kills are worth more points. And bosses you have this week are Wretched Knight, the regular hive boss, the seditious mind, uh, the, Ve the taken vex boss, and Kexus the betrayed, which is the taken fallen boss. Um... I definitely say the hardest boss is uh, Kexus the Betrayed. He's one of the harder bosses uh, in all of Challenger of Others, uh, just because he suppresses you a lot and takes away takes away your super. So you can't use your abilities, you can't use your super. But um, doesn't really matter this week because you got Precision Kill bonus. So um, you know, I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal uh, in this particular instance. Moving on to weapons, use whatever you feel uh, is is good. Uh, I'm going to recommend some specific weapons for subclasses later in this video, um, but really any you can use anything as long as you feel comfortable getting precision kills consistently with it. I would probably recommend uh, hand cannons and scout rifles. If you like a pulse rifle, then go for it. Obviously, bad juju could be a good option for getting your super really quickly because uh, that does give you some supplemental points. Um, with the subclasses that I'm going to recommend later in the video, uh, but you can really use whatever you want, whether it be it Hawkmoon, uh, No Time to Explain is a good option because it gives you ammunition back on precision hits, um, anything like that, Jade Rabbit, uh, high impact scout rifles are, re are pretty solid, um, really whatever you want can be used here uh, to get precision kills. Um, you're going to be seeing me uh, using a Grass of Malak in the gameplay here. Um, I don't actually recommend Grass of Malak because it it kind of, especially if you don't have a stability upgrade on it, it kicks up a lot because you'll see me getting a lot of regular kills in this gameplay instead of precision kills. That's also half because I wasn't really trying in this gameplay. Um, we had already gotten like 55,000k or 50, yeah, 55,000 in the gameplay before. Um, uh, this was my second uh, of two uh, card runs on PlayStation 4. And we'd already gotten like 55,000, so we weren't even trying uh, in like the second and third boss fights. We were just like, oh, we already have like 40k, so we're, we're done with the cards, so we might as well not even try. It's not even a big deal, so that's kind of what's been, that's kind of what's happening here. Um, but definitely it is a very, very easy week um, this week to get 45,000 points. So you guys can go for that double run uh, for just uh, two runs for your sigil instead of three. Very, very easy to do this week, in my opinion. Uh, sniper rifle for boss damage and light machine gun if you run out of ammo for your primary. It's not a bad option. Um, so you can, like, you don't want a rocket launcher in this, trust me. It's just not going to be a good option. Neither sh a shotgun either is not going to be uh, something you really want to use. Unless you, like, chaperone or something, I don't know. Like, it's just not going to be your best, uh, your best bet here because of small arms. You're just going to want to be using your primary a lot. For your subclasses, for Hunter, it's going to be Gunslinger and Night Stalker. Gunslinger takes the cake here as the highest point generating class in the game uh, for this particular challenge of others uh, because you can do the throwing knife cheese. Once again, you can, um, your throwing knives, if you hit headshots, count as both precision kills and melee kills. So if you chain your throwing knives with that perk that allows you to instantly refresh your throwing knife on a throwing knife headshot, you can, conti you can continue to do that, get way more points than any other class in the game. Um, it, also, if you have Nighthawk, you can use your Golden Gun for boss damage, which is, makes Gunslinger a very, very good option this week. Night Stalker is also a really good option because you're not looking for super kills. You can tether a bunch of enemies and then uh, shoot them in the head, generate a ton of orbs that way. Uh, works really, really well. So I do, I will recommend Night Stalker, but I would say Gunslinger is just, uh, just edges out in, in terms of point potential. 
We're talking Titans. Uh, there's only one option, and that is Defender. You can pop your bubble as soon as you get it, generate orbs that way, get points that way, and give your team uh, some really good uh, benefits, whether it be Weapons of Light for... Uh, you know, killing enemies faster, doing boss damage, or Blessing of Light for keeping them alive. It's just Defender's a really, really good option. And uh, you, you definitely don't want to run, run anything else, trust me. Uh, and finally, for you Warlocks out there, you see me running it in this gameplay. Sunsinger, you can pop your super and continue to get gun kills, uh, generating orbs and getting precision kills at the same time, generating points that way. Um... Any other subclass on the Warlock is just not going to be that good. Uh, Voidwalker, you know, is too reliant on super and grenades. So, uh, Stormcaller is too reliant on its super and melee, and you don't really want to be using those um, in this. You don't. You want to be getting precision kills whenever you can, obviously, uh, to maximize your points. So, uh, highly recommend Sunsinger over all the other subclasses. Highly recommend Defender over all the other subclasses, and then um, Nice Stalker and Gunslinger are the two top choices for you hunters out there. Uh, that's going to be it today, guys. Once again, like I said, this is a really, really easy week. We got 55,000 uh, in our first run without really trying. Like, we were still trying, per se, um, but we weren't trying that hard. And then, obviously, you see this this run, I told you guys, we weren't even trying this run. Um, like, we were just trying to speed run the final boss fight, and we still got 45,000. Um, so, really easy run this time, and I'm, I'm, I'm only at 320, um, so... Anyone who's like 315 plus should be able to do this in a, in a solid fire team. Good luck to you guys out there. Good luck with your loot and all of that. Hopefully you guys uh, get what you want. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Victory.